Hey boys and girls, and welcome to... Yep. Uh, short attention, attention... What I was doing and things like that. Hopefully it helps you out. You know, hopefully... Hello boys and girls, and welcome to Colorful Colorado, right here in the New Mexico-Colorado border. Uh... I gotta admit, this is, this is beautiful. I didn't really look up any facts about Colorado. Um, I do know that marijuana is legal there, so if you're into that, uh, over here is where you want to go. Uh, so while I'm here, I wanted to talk a little bit about avoidance. And uh, avoidance of distressing memories is what I wanted to talk about. So, avoidance of distressing memories is any effort to avoid thinking or talking about the traumatic event, and it's also any effort to avoid places, people, and things that remind you of the event. Um, so for me in my own uh, my own recovery, uh, I didn't really, I, I, I don't know, I didn't really like uh, long trips, and I didn't really like large crowds, so <laughs> I, uh, I made a pretty big effort to avoid a lot of that, and that was when I was with like friends and family, uh, my ex-girlfriend, things like that. Uh, I tried to avoid it uh, because I didn't want to talk about it, I didn't want to think about it. In fact, uh, it took, shoot, just about eight months before I actually told anybody over here in the States what happened in Afghanistan. Um, you know, just any story whatsoever. I didn't want to talk about it, I just wanted to come home and get drunk. So that was the bad thing I did. Uh, I just got drunk a lot. Anytime something reminded me of Afghanistan, uh, I just didn't want to think about it, so I would just get drunk to forget. And uh, what eventually happened was, no matter how drunk I got, uh, it wasn't enough. I was always mad, I was always angry, and I always thought about it. And so, some of the good things I did, I started opening up to people. I started talking more, I started being more open and honest with the people around me. And, um, you know, it was surprising. I always thought that a lot of people weren't going to understand what had happened there, weren't going to understand uh, the different culture, the different experiences, but in reality, the vast majority of people back here in the States uh, do want to know. They, they want to know what it's like over there, they want to know what you went through, and they want to know what they can do to help. So the best thing that you could possibly do if you're avoiding thinking about or talking about um, whatever, whatever happened to you is find somebody that you can confide in, find somebody that you trust completely, and open up to them. You don't have to tell them the full story right away, baby steps. Uh, you know, I've, I've been out of the Army for a year now, I've been home from Afghanistan for two years, and uh, this is the first time in two years that I can openly and honestly talk about uh, my experiences there. So uh, again, baby steps, it's, not, it's uh, not a sprint, it's a marathon. So with that being said, I'm going to go over there and knock out some push-ups in lovely Colorado. So you may be wondering to yourself, Self, it's the middle of May, he's in Colorado, how cold is it there? It is currently 38 degrees. You also may be wondering to yourself, Self, if it's 38 degrees, what's he doing in shorts and flip-flops? Well, I like being comfortable. That doesn't mean I'm always smart. <laughs> Alright guys, wish me luck on this trip. I will see you all in Idaho.